Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? It's uh, your pal uh, George Corbin here with uh, historian David Lee on another episode of uh, Dude Broom Hat. hat. Yeah, you, got, you brought your own hat here. That's pretty cool. I actually uh, have my hat hat here, and I was uh, felt so inclined to get you a Dude's Tunes and Brooms hat to check out. So, nice. Uh, there you go. It's a... Uh, it's made on the uh, swag page. Uh, if you like these hats, you can actually get them right here-ish in this uh, zone right here uh, in the uh, thing. And uh, I think I'm gonna put my hat on right now. So yeah, uh, you're, you're on the old uh, dude brew hat and you brought some beverages. Ooh, it's an honor to be here. Yeah, well, I'm glad you can make it. Uh, Happy St. Patrick's Day. St. Patty's to you. Uh, what did you bring me? What is this uh, Everybody has the uh, plain old uh, drought uh, draft Guinness. Uh, we're going to have extra stout. Ooh, yeah. Extra stout in a, in a freaking uh, glass bottle here. And uh, with that, we've got ourselves, uh, if you'll reach out there, a Colleen glass. All right. And uh, without further ado, I think it's time for us to... Uh, Crack these brews. I've got this uh, freaking uh, popper here that I found in one of these cupboards here for my gal Alicia. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. The luck of the Irish on that one. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Yo. Let's pour these in. <laughs> Oh, it looks creamy. I've never mm. had the extra stout before. Not as effervescent. Much thicker and uh, more flavorful. A nice uh, three-finger head, mm. if you will. Yeah, yours poured pretty uh, thick as yeah. well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, Bold. St. James Gate, Dublin. Mm, yeah, they, uh, they had a contract. Uh, they only have to pay something like... Uh, a hundred pounds a year for a thousand years to to lease that brewery. Yeah, gum. Nice wow. Steel. So they got they got like grandfathered in the whole thing. Yeah, that's amazing. The St. James Gate, Dublin. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, now that's a nice, delicious Guinness. Uh, I would say that. It does with the carbonation, what you'd expect from a good Guinness, because uh, most of the time I get the can mm -hmm. with the, the the nitrous nitrous oxide, and it's more of a smooth, mm, the creaminess. Yeah, yeah, where it's done it quite well with the with the way they've done the head, mm. with the bulk of the body of the beer. The head lasts. Yeah, it's a. Uh, no uh, nitrous here. No nitrous whatsoever. This is very good. It's not smooth. the settling. We don't have to wait for it to settle and then re-pour a bit. This is very nice. I think this is more akin to the original Guinness before they were using nitrous oxide or beer gas, a mix of nitrous and CO2. I would say that if I was first introduced to this extra stout before the other Guinness, I would just go for this. Mm. Like this is definitely it's a brown. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. It's very, very good. <laughs> yes. It's so good. In fact, I I think I would give this four and a, four point eight out of five. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't know why I wouldn't just give it a five, but I still would definitely go for a standard Guinness. I do like the nitrogen. Mm, yeah. Um, I like the, on draft. On draft. Not um, out of the, the can per se. But to get this um, as, as a substitute, it's it, I'm just as happy with this drinking when I am right if now. If you can't have Guinness draft on draft, extra stout extra in a glass. Is the way to go. Absolutely. Ooh. And I feel mm. like you get down this pretty good. Oh, yeah. 
Great for St. Patrick's Day. And at a uh, five point six percent, that's not too much. Yeah, you could uh, you could have three to six of these on your own. Yeah, with yeah, some a few boys. boiler makers. Yeah, you're going to be dancing the night away here on St. Patty's Day. You know. What are you, uh... Oh, even the cat there, oh, the old Irish orange cat. St. Caddy's Day. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So how are you going to celebrate? You uh, get some corned beef? I made some corned beef, cabbage, and uh, coal cannon, which is potatoes and uh, cabbage Ooh. together. Very so, nice, yeah. Nice little combo, traditional. We got to get some soda bread from Fresh Time, I think, though. Get the raisins in it. Oh, never had mm, it. Yes. I'm sure they've got it. Yeah, Fresh Time's got some pretty good stuff. Pretty good beer aisle. Yeah. They've got yes, a modest beer aisle. They're not like a massive one like you get at most grocery stores. No. It's just enough of what you need in a hurry. Like nice craft beers and stuff. Yes, yeah, yeah. Classy. Perfect chaser uh, after the smoking of the green. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hoity toity. <laughs> That's what we were, uh, yeah, you know, trying earlier. It's delicious. Well, um, I uh, think this is a fine brew. What uh, what would you give it out of five? Out of five, I've had some very good brews lately. You yep. know, this isn't too complex. It's a great beginner beer, I think, for uh, Ooh, those interested yeah. in dark beers. I'd give this a uh, four. A solid four. Solid four. Four shamrocks for the old Guinness. Four rings of the old bell here in the Emerald Isle. Oh, I love it. Yeah, without further ado, I'm your pal George Gorman. And guest David Lee. Historian David Lee. Yeah, we've yeah. talked about you a lot. <laughs> you know, you've given some a lot of brews to do brew hat. There's a lot of beer history out there. It's kind of a big deal that you're on the program tonight. Because the amount of uh, charitable donations that you've mm. given to us is... Uh, and to have the guy show up that's given so much beer. <laughs> you gave us the beer we're drinking tonight. I did. Sir, still crazy after all these beers? Oh! <laughs> Without further ado... Uh, it's time for me to rush off to uh, get another brew. <laughs> that was fun. And I did the devil hat. <laughs>